I call uh, Dennis O'Rourke. Uh, thank you, Mr. S Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, this bill, I think, should be entitled the Lawyers and Conveyances Back to the Past Bill. This takes us back to the pre-2006 days when QCs were appointed by some mysterious non-transparent process which was all too susceptible to inappropriate influences and even to political interference. For those and several other reasons which I will member, New Zealand First opposes this le legislation. It's not about what's good for the legal pr profession. It's not, what, it's not about what is good for the community. What it is about is the National Party's philosophy and ideology. And some of us don't have too much regard for that. What, about, what, it is, um, uh, what it should be about is a system which is designed for the future and not for the past. New Zealand will be moving backwards with this legislation when all comparable jurisdictions have, have moved on, and that, of course, is especially uh, Canada and most of the states of Australia, although not all. Mr Speaker, I actually question whether it is really even necessary at all to award either Queen's Council or Senior Council positions in this day and age. I think it's something of an anachronism and is no longer necessary. During an era in which it is generally accepted that markets should be free of discriminatory and anti-competitive rules imposed by governments. And that's actually what this does, and it seems so out of place today. However, if we are to persist with the ranking of legal uh, practitioners in this way, rather than to rely on reputation and the market, then it is, it is very important to fairly define those members of the profession who have achieved a level of experience and competence in an area of expertise which should be officially acknowledged. This may assist in the effective operation of the legal system and the way lawyers organise them, themselves as a profession, and it may assist with public confidence in the, in the profession. But it should not be about status or reward or cronyism in the way that too often it has been in the past. And it should never be seen in the same way as the award of knighthood, knighthoods and honours generally have been seen in the past and probably still are. New Zealand is no longer since 1947 a British colony with all of its traditions and peculiarities. Our system must fit our needs and be relevant, useful, fair and transparent. This bill does not appear to be designed to do that and as I said before, I question whether the entire thing is necessary at all. It appears to be designed to perpetuate elitism as distinct from meritism, by which I mean the recognition of a status well earned instead of one simply awarded in the manner of some sort of honour or worse, some sort of favour. Under part one, the term Queen's Council is returned to replace senior council. This is unwise because the public can more readily understand the term senior council, but usually have never understood the term Queen's Council very well. And understandably, and understandability is important for our legal system. People tended in the past to think that the term Queen's Council still meant a senior barrister who had the function of supporting the Attorney General, as indeed it once was in the UK. But these days that's far from how it works. So senior counsel would be more descriptive and not have the connotations of some overhang from the old English legal system. The idea that there is in any real sense some operation of royal prerogative also needs to be put firmly out of question. New Zealand, not own, New Zealand needs a thoroughly modern legal system and, ne and it needs to be seen as such. None of this is assisted by the term Queen's Council and Senior Council, if we need them at all, is certainly better. 
nor does the assertion that somehow the reversion to QCs will enhance the, the independence of the profession. If independence means independence from the Crown, meaning in effect the government in this country, then the Bill is more likely to do the opposite by restoring the old system under which the scope for political and other in, inappropriate influences is actually worse. Concerning eligibility... I'm sorry to interrupt the Honourable clear. Member. The time has come for me to leave the Chair for the dinner break. This debate is interrupted. I shall resume the Chair at 730